Hi everyone. First of all, a big thank you to all of our users across globe who have made us one of the most popular financial app on the internet. Now coming back to subject, you guys know that there are many platforms on internet where you can backtest on historical futures and options charts. At Go Charting also, we have been providing backtesting of expired futures and options contracts since last one year. However, we have gone one step further. Now, we have made possible backtesting of strategy charts on expired futures and option contracts. For that, you need to go to expired option contracts option over here. Now, you can search your desired index, say for example, Nifty. Now we have all these expiries and we have the options and futures contracts. Most of us know that there are many popular strategies like 9.20 AM straddle, 2.20 PM straddle, etc. So you need to know what was the nifty level at that time and based on that you can choose the strike prices and make your straddle chart. You can also make other strategies like iron condor, strangle, etc. Now let's try to see how 21,000 straddle performed on the last expiry. So the last expiry is 25th of January and let's try to see this 21,000 straddle chart. So we will sell 21,000 call and 21,000 put and we will add this to chart. Right now we have our own straddle chart of 21,000. Now we can add indicators like RSI. MSCD. Okay, so the traders who are trading based on indicator, they can backtest their strategies based on their group of indicators. Now there are also different supply and demand zone traders who try to use supply zones, demand zones and imbalance candles. So let's try to backtest how this performed on expiry day. Okay, so let me do the bar replay and here we have 25th January or expiry day. Okay, now we can go to lower time frame. Now let's try to see how our supply and demand zones are farming in the lower time frame and how we could take the trade. Okay, so our candles are running. Our job is to identify supply and demand zones based on the imbalance candles. Okay. Right, so we have got these two imbalance candles. Okay, so we can make a demand zone over here based on these two imbalance candles from here to here. Okay, so this could be our demand zone. Right now, let us try to put the long position also and try to see how much risk reward we have got. Okay, so this is the long position as well as our demand zone. Now, let me again start the bar replay. Right, so our entry is still not confirmed. Let me try to make it a little faster. Right. So our entry is done. So we have got 1 is to 1.3 risk reward. So this is how you can do your backtesting on the expired option contracts. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.